hey guys welcome to soul designs this video will be like an overview wherein in question answers format we will study the types properties uses and other important information about ceramics the first question is define ceramics ceramics are compounds of metals and non metals having generally ionic bonding between them state some examples of ceramics we have tungsten carbide silicon carbide zirconia alumina etc what are the types of ceramics we have earthenware stoneware porcelain and bone china what are the types of ceramics based on atomic structure based on atomic structure we have crystalline ceramics and non crystalline ceramics what are the types of ceramics based on material so here we have oxides non oxides and composites why ceramics can't be made into wires because it lacks ductility and ceramics are brittle in nature thus they can't be made into wire give some thermal properties of ceramics ceramics are good thermal insulators they have low thermal expansion high thermal shock resistance and high specific heat capacity what do you mean by refractory materials these are basically materials which maintain their structural properties at high temperatures they come with very high melting point and the examples are silica and al203 which is the hardest industrial ceramic the answer is boron carbide name the ceramics having highest thermal conductivity it is silicon carbide what is the characteristic feature of alumina so it is known for its excellent hardness and wear resistance Porcelain comes under which type of ceramics the answer is whiteware ceramics Diamond is an example of which type of ceramics it is abrasive Which carbide of engineering ceramics is used as cutting tools tungsten carbide Now this question is very important among vitrification sintering alloying and powder pressing which is not a step in making of ceramics the answer is alloying by which phenomena point defects are created in ceramics so it is due to thermal excitation what are magnetic ceramics also known as it is ferrites and the magnetization shown by them is known as ferrimagnetism ferrites are classified as isotropic ceramic and anisotropic ceramic what is mica it is a naturally occurring non metallic mineral which is based on collection of silicates and it is a good insulator so finally the applications of ceramics ceramics has wide variety of applications some of them are it is used in pottery as refractory materials as cutting tools to make artificial joints and it is even used in space industry because of the low weight Now here is one fun fact about ceramic. So that was all about today's session. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Soul Designs. Thank you.